During this week's film assignment, I have chosen to analyze and discuss the directorial methods of one director known as Harmony Kareen. Harmony Kareen is known for directing films such as Gummo and Kids, but is more recently known for directing the film Spring Breakers. Harmony Kareen's films often deal with the dysfunctional lifestyles of adolescents, and he often also addresses themes such as poverty and individuals with mental disorders. Harmony Kareen is an extremely talented director, but many mainstream moviegoers criticize his methods and claim that he is self-indulging and exploits the lifestyles of the actors and actresses in which partake in his films. He definitely takes this criticism with a grain of salt, and this is what makes him such a unique director. Unlike most directors, he writes films to first entertain himself, and if any of his films reach out to a particular audience, then so be it. But if not, that's not his problem. He attempts to make his films as realistic as possible, and in, and in an effort to do this, he requires that most of his actors and actresses partake in improv opposed to just memorizing lines of script. In his most recent film, Spring Breakers, the, the main actors and actresses were actually required to come to set about three weeks early so they could just hang out and become great friends so that the improv would come more easily to them whenever it came time to filming the movie. In a day and age in which media is extremely high-tech, he is also different from many directors in the aspect that he often includes the usage of 35mm cameras as well as polarized film to add to the realism of his films. He takes that idea of realism to the extreme to the point where if one of his actors is a crackhead, he would actually prefer that actor to take a second and go off set, smoke the crack pipe, and then come back on set to finish his scene. While his methods may be extremely unconventional, I believe that Harmony Crean is an extremely talented director, and I love the fact that he tries to make his films as, realis as realistic as he possibly can.